It's a Brawl Talk time! The Brawl update is coming and there is a lot. We have two new brawlers, one trillion new skins, along with a new hypercharged skin rarity, crazy mutations, six brand new hypercharges, a new club event, as well as a bunch of hidden balance changes that I managed to spot. Now first off, we have two new brawlers and the first of them is Lily coming with the Godzilla season. Lily is a mythic brawler and is part of the enchanted trio with Cordelius. She is a short ranged assassin brawler but has a significant amount of health at 8400 hit points at max level which is almost double the hit points of Crow. Now her movement speed appears to be very fast as well and has this cool little white trail that follows her. Her attack has a very wide hit area and deals 2400 damage. She has a single ammo bar so she'll never run out of ammo, however that main shot damage can be more than 2400 as we see after she uses her super. Now this super fires off a little plant and when it hits the target it deals 2000 damage by itself and then she teleports behind the target where her next attack deals 3600 damage instead of the normal 2400. Now I don't know if this is a normal ability or if it's a star power but my guess would be that it's a star power. Now of course I'll be able to tell you all of the juicy details in the upcoming sneak peek so be sure to get subscribed if you want all of that info the second that I'm able to share it with you. Now the other new brawler is a legendary tank named Draco. He loves heavy metal music and is part of a brand new trio that comes comes with a new environment called the Mad Evil Manor. Draco has 11,000 hit points at max level and as a tank he will have the trait that charges his super whenever he takes damage. For his main shot he stabs enemies with his guitar in a rather long range for a melee brawler. If they're hit with the point of the attack it will deal 2,400 damage otherwise he deals half that at 1,200 which isn't very much. Now for his super he mounts upon Yoshi or his inflatable dragon. You know, whatever. Once he's in super form, he gains movement speed, damage reduction, and fires flame in a cone. Now, it looks like that each tiny little flame will deal 160 damage each, but there is a non-stop stream of them similar to Amber. Now, there are a couple things here that they don't mention in Brawl Talk. First off, his shots pierce, meaning that he can hit more than a single target with his main attack. Also, he has a third bar that charges up. Now, when he attacks someone after that bar is fully charged, it resets and it places a mark on the target that has a little heart inside of it. What I think this is, is a debuff similar to Bell, where that the target will take more damage either just from him or perhaps all sources. Now, it appears to be a 35% debuff as his next shot, he deals 3,240 damage, which is 35% more. However, we don't get to see beyond that because, well, they're dead. Now, since they didn't mention this, I think they and again it's most likely going to be a star power but i'll test it all out in my draco 1v1 versus all brawlers video coming very soon there are a lot of things that they showed in brawl talk but there's also some things that they didn't show like a handful of balance changes that i noticed now i'll have a full list of all of them soon but here are the ones i noticed in brawl talk namely Mortis is getting a buff. A few times in the video, we can see Mortis attacking and his main attack is dealing 2000 damage instead of the 1880 that it currently does in game. Also, it looks like Spike is getting a slight nerf. We see his spikes connect dealing 1080 damage and in game right now, they deal 1120. However, Hank, he wasn't prawn ready for this HP nerf that we see in this clip. Currently in game, he has 11,600 health. However, in this clip, it's 10,800. Now there may be more hidden balance changes, but that's what I could find. So if you see some that I missed, comment down below. However, they did show all six brand new hypercharges. For Brock, his hypercharged super is going to have more rockets than North Korea which we assume is a lot, we don't know. It looks like there's gonna be seven rockets per wave with four total waves of them. However, each rocket only deals 500 damage each. Regardless, you don't wanna be caught in that thing. Take that, Kim Jong-un. <laughs> now, Sandy's might be one of the strongest as his hypercharged sandstorm will silence all enemies inside for a very short amount of time, as well as all of your teammates inside it will get a 20% speed buff while they're in his super. I mean, his super was already really great. 
and now it's gonna be just flat out scary. For Nita's hypercharge, Bruce goes on steroids where he moves really fast and has over 10,000 hit points. Now, likely he'll probably just get focused down real quick anyways, but it's gonna take more shots to do that and it might make the enemy fall back a little bit more. Now with Max's hypercharge, she throws a Red Bull to her teammates. Heads up. Oh. Hey, thanks. That'd be $5 now. $5 for this? The little one? Bruh. Now they get this speed without having to be right next to her, which is pretty cool. As well as it's going to charge their super a little bit. We're not sure how much yet it charges that super, but this is gonna be a nice one as well. For Tick, his hypercharged head will travel faster and when it explodes, it leaves a bunch of mines around like his gadget, Mine Mania. This one's pretty cool, but at the same time, it knocks the enemies away from his mines, which does reduce its effectiveness a little bit. Now for Gene, he gets a cool one where his super becomes three hands and it can pull multiple people. Now on the plus side, this is a pool that I think that even I could hit, but also if you pull too many people in, it might be bad for you and your team. Regardless, it looks pretty dope. And speaking of hypercharges, we are now going to be getting a new rarity of skin. These new hypercharged rarity skins will change and transform when you use your hypercharge. And the first one of them is going to be Godzilla Buzz. When using this hypercharge, the skin's going to transform to match that hypercharge. This is really cool and everyone is going to have the chance to get one for free. How are you going to get this skin you might ask? Well, there's going to be a new event where Brawl Stars and Godzilla team up and this event revolves around getting monster eggs and opening them. Now the main part of the event will be similar to Mega Pig as it is a club based event. So as the new community manager Drew said, if you're not in a club, join a club. So open monster eggs with your club and you'll earn gem rewards along the way. And if you max out the Godzilla egg, then your entire club will all get the hypercharged skin. But how do you get the eggs and what's inside them? Well, first off, you get them by playing the new event Godzilla City Smash. Now, I don't have a lot of the fine details about the event other than it's in a special map made just for this event. And the goal is to smash the opponent's city. A little green drop will spawn. Picking up this drop turns that player into Godzilla or Mecha Godzilla, where I'm assuming your job is just to keep destroying the city, but the dude has laser eyes, so I imagine he wrecks the place faster. Now, by winning this event, you'll earn monster eggs, as well as there will be two monster eggs every day that you can win just like star drops. Oh, and also, if you lose in the event, you're going to get a rare star drop just for being a loser. Bro, you about to get so many rare I, drops. I, I actually, I can't remember with that. So that's how you get them. Now, what's inside? Well, actually quite a lot. These eggs can progress through the rarities just like star drops. And from them, we know that you can get standard resources like coins, PowerPoints, credits, and bling, but also you can get special skins and even mutations. As a part of the Godzilla update, there will be unique mutations for 40 different brawlers. Now, these mutations will enhance the abilities of the brawler like Bo being able to put down unlimited mines, Pam with infinite ammo, Hank firing off a super every time he gets hit, spike shots having double the projectiles, or Meg firing off insane amounts of ammo. You can tell which brawlers have the mutation by the DNA pulsing around their circle. Now this is a limited time event and the mutation games are just going to be a modifier on normal ladder games. So if you don't wanna play in them, you can avoid them. But to me, it looks like chaos and I'm excited to try it out. Now there is one thing that I'm not quite sure about though, and that's buying a eggs. So they have this thing that they showed where if you want to boost the eggs for your club, you can buy them. And I have a couple questions. First off, if you were buying the eggs, I'm assuming that you're going to get to open them as well, like a normal drop. I, I would assume so because the high price they showed. But also on the track, you get a free pen. <laughs> well, after you spend like 240 gems, you get that free pin. And then further along, you get a free Brock skin. But once again, you've got to buy everything first. So it's free, not free. There's actually nothing free about it. And if you go all in, you can get the buzz skin straight away. 
which I mean, I guess might be good if your club didn't get it, but I don't know. I'm going to know more soon and I'll let you know. I do know, however, that the event is going to last for 21 days, but that's not the only new mode that is coming into the game because they're also introducing a 5v5 knockout mode, but with a twist. The fewer players that remain on the team, the more powerful they become, which this is actually pretty cool because normally if all your teammates die and it's just you, you got like a 1% chance of winning, but now you've got like a 2% chance of winning, which is, is double math. And using math, I can count that we have 11 quadrillion new skins. I'll cover all of these in detail in my next video, but I'll give you a quick rundown right now and tell you which ones I think personally look the best. Now, I've already shown you the Hypercharge Buzz skin, but the other ones from the Godzilla season are going to be Super Ranger Brock in red, blue, yellow, pink, and black color variations, Mother Eve, which I think looks pretty awesome, Mecha Godzilla Nita, who has a Mecha Kaiju Bruce, and then there is Mecha Tick and his color variations that you'll find on the Brawl Pass. However, the best series of skins has to be on the June Brawl Pass season, which is called Cyber Brawl. The Brawl Pass skin for the season is Brock with his two color variations to go along with it, and it has a really cool shot animation. We also have Bee Bite, which also looks really cool, but not like over the top. Probably a, like a super rare skin, I would guess. Fang is getting one of these skins too, and it looks dope. However, Virus Charlie turns into like this mecha spider and looks really creepy cool. Although they did say that it could expose your browser history, but psh, I ain't worried. But my personal favorite is Glitch Larry and Lori, which will be the ranked skin of the season. I mean, just look at Larry. Or is it Lori? I don't know the dark looking one. It looks really cool. Now there are a couple of Supercell make skins in Dark Samurai Jean and Nightmare Sandy. And as always with all of the make skins, these things are dope with a really cool vibe. And speaking of having a cool vibe, this Squad Buster Shelly skin has a really awesome cartoon vibe that is of course inspired by Squad Buster Supercell's new game going into soft launch in like three days. If you live in Canada, time to move to Canada. Now there are some 29 gym summer skins with Beach Byron, Gallimortis, and Parasol Frank. Frost Queen Amber is officially becoming a legendary 299 gym skin, so if you wanted it, get it now before the update for much less than what it will be after the update drops. They're also bringing back a bunch of the older ranked skins with recolors that will be found in ranked drops. Notably, I really like the 8-bit piano skin. It just looks really cool in this white, although the Byron one looks really cool too. Five more true silver and true gold skins, and I noticed four of them. We've got Chuck, Charlie, Kit and Miko. Now, I don't know who the fifth one is, although one curious thing here is that they had the golden barley skin, not the true gold skin in the catalog, just the normal golden barley, but it was under the true gold skins in the catalog. So if so, does that mean it's going to become a 25,000 coin skin? And I mean, if it is, then yeah, if you like it, now would be the time to get it. Just like the time is right now for you to subscribe and come back tomorrow for more update sneak peeks. Brawl Talk.